Strictly for the gamers. Gamers. What's going on you guys your boy lone wolf and welcome back to another reaction video yo this is gonna be uh, a little crazy right here um i'm gonna be going a little reference on the old time because the reaction we're doing is the akuma Oki costume uh it's cyber akuma and boy i have not heard that name since cyberbots how many of y'all remember Cyberbots? That was the very first. No, I want to say that's the very first one. I forgot which one. I think it was either X Men versus Street Fighter, or Cyberbots when Cyber Akuma, Cyber Akuma made his first appearance. Cause he, that's when he made those two appearances. Like Cyberbots, he was a Cyberbots, he was a full mech. But in X Men versus X Men versus Street Fighter, the first one is when um he. The costume that we're about to see right now, because I saw the thumbnail and I was like, "Oh snap! They bring in Cyber Go Akuma back, the classic, you know." So we're gonna check it out. We're gonna see about that, and then we're gonna put our thoughts and see what how it looks. Maybe they might add some little extra projectiles or some moves on there. Might see him throw a little missiles and then something. There. All right, let's go. Hmm. Cyber Yep. Yep, that's how I remember. Oh, is that Jin from Cyberbots? Oh, I <laughs> and we were just talking about it. <laughs> so they got the Cyberbots on the other side. That's just crazy how I'm imaginally short that was, but what do you expect from a 47 teaser, 47 second teaser trailer? So, Cyber Akuma ha is back after three decades already, maybe three or two, because <laughs> it's been so long. And the most shocking thing is that we don't just get Cyber Akuma, but we get Jin right here, Jin from Cyberbots. Techromancer or Kikayo in Japanese. If y'all if y'all were born in the 90s, y'all know what those games are. Those were my childhood right there. Cyberbots and Kikayo. You know, so dude, Toko Shiki Kikayo. Sooner or later, I'm gonna do a little live stream on that game too when I get everything together and stuff like that. But yes, we have Jin as a costume collab DLC right now and it's Ryu playing being being Jin which is probably funny I don't know like they could have might as well just made Jin a DLC character in Street Fighter because it's been a while since we've seen Jin Jin has not been shown since um the Marvel vs Capcom series and Cyberbots which that's where he was mainly from in the Sega Saturn days and also um yeah Ch uh, Chokosiki Kikayo which is one of my favorite mech games in the Dreamcast days. Oh my god, I love that game. Um, but yeah, this is where this is crazy to see uh, Cyber Akuma back from since X Men vs Street Fighter. That was like the day; those were the, the old school days, the classics right there, you know. But you know, those are like the only two you see as Cyber Goki. So it's kind of funny. You see, it's funny how you see Cyber, you see Jin in Street Fighter. Because um, Goki made his, um, Cyber Goki made his appearance in Cyberbots as an unlockable secret character. So it's funny seeing that that reverse. Because first we see Goki in Cyberbots, now we see Jin, which is not actually Jin, this is just costume in uh, Street Fighter. So it's going to be, it's crazy that to actually see that, you know. So basically, we're gonna have Cyber Kuma as a DLC and also Jin costume. This is gonna be really interesting. And plus, we have not, we don't see any type of difference in Cyber Kuma 
always sees that it's the same same old Goki, same old Kuma. You know, nothing. He ain't shooting no missiles or anything like that. So, it, but nah, this is going to be really crazy. I know a lot of people, X-Men versus Street Fighter. X-Men vs. Street Fighter days, I know a lot of people are going nuts seeing that, yo, they brought Cyber Akuma back. Hey, yo, if y'all know, if y'all were born in those days when we were playing X-Men vs. Street Fighter in the arcade days, y'all know who Cyber Akuma was. Like, he was just, he was not really that popular. It was just like, it was just a character that they just added in that, into the game as a roster. So it was just crazy to, to actually... I mean, it's crazy to me to actually see Cyber Puma in there because it's bringing back a lot of old school days, you know, how where I grew up on. Because this is like, this was crazy. Like, because when I looked at Cyber Puma for the first time in X Men vs. Street Fighter, it was like, eh. It was, uh, it's cool. I mean, I'd rather just stick with the original because he looks really cool. But I don't know where they get, I don't I never knew why they even had that, but it was, but you know, they bringing it back. But it's shocking to see Jin. But I would love to see Jin from Cyberbots to actually come back as one of the DLCs. That would be a really good, really good um, thought to bring Cyberbots. Like, guys, come on. Like, if y'all if y'all see Cyberbots, like, if we want to talk about Cyberbots, Cyberbots is, like, one of the best fighting mech games ever I've ever played on the Sega Saturn. Like, it just, like, if I'm, like, playing it right now, it's just, like, nostalgia of memory. All right. So, I mean, I know a lot right now, right now, a lot of people don't know Cyberbots that well, like, because Cyberbots is, like, long gone right now. And Choco Siki Kikayo, you know, because that's, like, one of those top games that was just booming, yo. You know? A matter of fact, matter of fact, we'll, let's go live. Uh, let's do this. So this is how I remember Cyberbots, and there goes Jin. So there's Jin, who I was telling you about. That this is where he was the, the series he was originally from. Jin. This is how I. Rem this is Cyberbots, the game that I grew up in. Guys, a lot of y'all don't. Remember. I probably a lot of y'all. And there goes Goku. He was known as Goku. You know, when Goki was playable in this game, you could play as Goki on as anybody. Really, I remember I used to play as Jin. Play as Jin as the Goki when he, when we actually unlocked him. So this is like, yo, this is that night. Oh man, this was the childhood days, man. Phase one, proceed. That's how I remember this game. That's how I remember Cyberbots. That's when you, when I was, I think this was the second time when I first saw Cyber Goki, but he was known as Z Goki. He's a full mech. Now I'm gonna show you where Cyber Akuma was first originated. So it was actually Marvel versus Street Fighter, but there was mostly X X Men characters on there, and there was like the Hulk in there and stuff like that. So, but yeah, this is why I first. Found out about this is when Cyber Akuma was first made his appearance. So this is Marvel vs. Capcom. I mean, Marvel vs. Street Fighter. There's so many songs. This is when he made his first appearance. Cyber Akuma. He had the whole rocket and everything. Had the muscle. So that's why I was like, hopefully they had the little uh, missiles on him. But they didn't do that. I'm not sure if they did that. They were, they, well, obviously, it's not in there. They were shown. So, yep, this is Cyber. And he was like, 
was like, I wasn't sure. I don't remember if he was like that cheap. Because he wasn't really that popular. You know, he wasn't really that popular. And as I remember, now, not a lot of people played as Cyber. Shiny and Gold Shock. <laughs> that sounded like one. So that's how I remember Cyber Akuma. So I must say I thought well basically it's, it's still X Men vs Street Fighter franchise, but they changed it to Marvel vs Capcom, Marvel vs Street Fighter because they added more Marvel characters in there. But you mostly might see just more X Men characters, and you'll see um, Blackheart from Ghost Rider. But but yeah, that's it for this video, guys. Um, thank y'all for going down to that memory childhood la memory lane and childhood days. Um, make sure I like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell notification, and tell me what do y'all think about Cyber Akuma and his return. I know all uh, y'all Capcom fans is looking forward to it, or maybe not. All right, let's just talk about it. Conversation. All right, I'll see y'all in the next.